All right, welcome back, boys. She's finally here, Holiday Euphine, and another dreadful limited artifact, the Champion's Trophy, which is really only good for her. Um, I don't really think there's any other AoE S1 warriors in the game. Maybe Batiste, but not even sure if it'll work on him. And uh, yeah, I'm not worried at all about getting her. Um, obviously, I have the bookmarks, but if I'm scared shitless, that's going to be another SSP thing where I don't get Rhyngars and I won't get this limited artifact. So I pray to God that before I pity her, I get this artifact. Now, in terms of Yafine herself, I think she's very strong because she absolutely neuters Basar. I know some people think she's going to be like a cleaver or something. I doubt that. She's going to be more of a utility support hero, although burns do do a decent amount of damage, but um, it's not even 100%, so won't be entirely reliable. But uh, we'll see how she's used. Um, she's definitely going to be using RTA as a Basar counterplay. So in any case, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, come on, limited artifact. Don't screw me. Don't screw me. I would prefer not to have to go into Sky Stones for this, considering that I have um, more than enough bookmarks to pity her. So let's see what we get here. Limited artifact? Nope, just a four star crossbow thingy. And uh, we will probably do some ML summons after this. I've done at least like 500 galaxy bookmarks without getting a single ML5. So hopefully we can change that. And hopefully it won't be a dupe or something. If I do get one. Four star Sasha. Used by some people for cleave teams. I don't cleave, so it's pretty much useless for me. Um, I'm very curious to see what people do with their Yafines. Now, I think even if you build her super high damage, her S3 multipliers are so low that it just won't do anything. Um, so I really do think that people just build her high effectiveness, high speed, and pretty tanky, and just have her kind of dizzy stun over and over. I think that's going to be the most sensible kind of makeup for her, the one with the most potential. If you build her high damage, she's just so outclassed by other DPSs, unless the burns do enough where you just kind of melt them down. Getting a lot of 4 stars here. We're about 20 summons in. I just want this limited artifact. If I get the limited artifact before the 120, I'm a happy camper. Another 4 star, another Shashe Ithanis. Ithanes? Seishithanes? How the hell do you say that thing? Oh man, come on. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Give me the artifact. Just give me the artifact. So it looks like this isn't going to be some kind of one summon magic like I usually do on the heroes. Wow, so many useless 4 stars here. There's pretty much no 4 star in the game I want at this point. Um, maybe some more Shuris? That's about it. Oh? Nope. Another force. Oh, we got a Shuri though. All right, I'll take it if I ever get Watcher Shuri. I still haven't decided whether I'm going to use the Caesar Auto Selector on um, Watcher Shuri or Simple. Come on, baby. Ugh. Kawana. Alright, we're nearing the halfway point here. I know my guildie got like three of the artifacts and the hero in like 40 summons or something, so. Come on, come on! Biblios! No. 
Ooh, Sid, though. I'll take a Sid imprint. Um, my Assassin Sid is triple S, but... I would like to build regular Sid at some point. Oh, I'm getting a lot of teasers. Oh, no! No, this is it's gonna happen again. It's SSB again. There's delicious food everywhere I look. So she just likes to eat stuff. Um, let's go over her skills real quick before I keep going for this goddamn artifact. Um, so her S1 uh, basically just burns them, doesn't do that much damage, but it does AoE damage is not affected by elemental disadvantage, and it becomes AoE if it's used on her turn. So basically every time you actually use it and it's not a counter, it's AoE. This thing is the thing that makes her a Basar counter. She basically has like a 100% chance to dodge Basar, and it decreases the effect of combat readiness debuffs by 50% at Maximola, so the Basar will only push you back like 15%. And then her S3 cleanses two debuffs and then grants your team CR push. So basically, it completely counters Basar. Everyone's been asking for a Basar counter. The only dirty thing is that they made the Basar counter a limited hero, so if you don't get her now, you're gonna have to wait like a year for her, and you're still gonna suffer through Basar. So, with that said, um, let's just pray that I can get this limited artifact. I, I don't ever get the limited artifact before I get the hero. I think the only time that's ever happened for me was Viking, where I got a, a bunch of torn sleeves. That was pretty lucky. Every other case, I am uh, stuck chasing this limited artifact. I don't even know what the rates are. One point says, so it's double the hero, but I always get the hero before the artifact. Come on, just give it to me here. Let me end this. Oh, oh, come on, please, please, please. Ugh. You know, I'm pissed, but I need Alexis. So I'm actually pretty happy. I'll take an Alexis basket, because mine's only plus 15. I really need to work on that, so I'm still happy, actually. So that's a sweet five-star pickup. Um, but yeah, I still need this limited artifact now. Ugh, come on, baby. Limited artifact. Am I going to blow through my entire Sky Stone? Sky Stone, Sky Stone pool before I get the stupid thing. I'm gonna end up like I did for Draco Plate, where I almost triple S Luna hunting for Draco Plates. And I don't even use Luna, I never even molded her. She's just benched, she's a horrible hero. Um, she used to be like top tier for Wyvern, she's not even good in Wyvern anymore. Literally, she's a useless hero. I feel bad for the people who plus 15'd her. Um, back in the day when she was considered a god-tier hero. Alright, so we're rapidly blowing through bookmarks. No champion's trophy to be seen. Uh, oh, oh, come on, come on, come on. Or another Alexis Basket, I'll take that too. What the hell? What the hell? God damn it. <laughs> oh. Alright, alright. Just give me the damn champion's basket or whatever it's called. So that's two five-star artifacts that are not the limit. You know what they should do? If they're going to troll us like this, if they're not going to add a pity for the limited artifact, at least make it so if you get a five-star artifact, it is the one on the banner. Just like the hero. Oh, I'm going to go past Pity, aren't I? People are saying the artifact is not that good. I think it'll be very annoying on a tanky Yafine, though, because she's just like, everyone knows how annoying Dizzy is. Now, granted, on Abyssal, her S1 is a built-in stun, so it's double what this will be, but still. Um, if Yafine's just sitting there and she's fast, preventing CR pushes, cleansing, and just randomly stunning your team, I think it will be very annoying to deal with. So I think 
some people are underestimating her artifact. Now, a valid criticism is that it's useless on pretty much every other hero in the game, that is true. But like, Rheingars, you really only use it on SSP, I mean you could use it on like a Cleave Athletica, but no one says Rheingars is bad and almost always, no one's using it on anyone except SSP. With these limited artifacts, a lot of times they're just built around the limited hero, and that's fine. So I started with 600 bookmarks. Um, I'm almost out of them now. Still don't have this goddamn limited artifact. Ugh. I'm getting ravaged by three stars right now. I don't even think I've gotten a shiny. What is it, like 23 stars in a row? There we go. Alright, what are we gonna get now? Another four star, wondrous potion vial, completely useless. I have a thousand of those. And I guess I am gonna have to dip into the Skystone fund for this stupid artifact. Oh, come on, just give it to me here. Give it to me here. Uh, well, looks like I'm going to get some extra ML summons from this, though. Uh, and a lot of powder, I guess. Now I'm 40 from pity for Yafine. Oh god. Oh god. Let's just, um... Take your time. Let's go for 8... 7600, so 400 bookmarks. That better be enough, because if I blow through this, I'll have used more than a thousand bookmarks on this banner. Yeesh. God, I'm gonna pity her. 40 summons left till another Yafine. Come on, come on. Can't believe I got two five-star artifacts that weren't it. Crozet, useless. Come on. Oh, please, please. Oh, <laughs> oh thank God. All right, for so... For those of you who don't know, her artifact increases effectiveness, um, and it doesn't go down every turn like some artifacts do. And at max limit break, it has a 26% chance to stun for one turn. Obviously, stuns are a very powerful debuff, and remember, her S1 is AoE, so if you hit four people, chances are you'll stun at least one of them. Now, I'm only 33 summons from Pity. So I am going to finish this out just to get a second copy of Yafine. I could settle with... Uh, one imprint, and I'll save a uh, dog here. Um, I'm so deep that there's really no reason not to finish this out. Maybe I'll get lucky and get another copy of the artifact too. Nope, not there. And then we're gonna try some uh, good old ML summons. Oh, come on, another copy of the Artie. Nope. I mean, I don't... I do buy the bottle every month. Um, I used most of them that I had saved up to max out Rheingars. Um, if you're super hardcore like some of the Turbo Whales out there, I'm sure you're gonna try to max limit break it for me. If it turns out to be super powerful, I'll wait. But really, you're only gonna get like a 1% chance to stun per limit break. I mean, in the long term it adds up, but on an individual fight basis, it's probably not gonna make or break anything. So I would highly suggest that if you're F2P or anything short of a super whale, it's not so broken that you should even consider trying to 
burn bookmarks trying to MLD uh, max limit break it here. So it looks like I am stuck with only one copy. At least I get an extra Alexas. That's actually um, pretty awesome. I really need a plus 30 Alexas. All right, we're three till pity. Can we swoop in and get an artifact before then? Nope. One summon left. All right, so we're going to get our second holiday Euphine. Um, I think she has a health imprint and a self-attack imprint. There we go. And we have um, 14 galaxy bookmarks here. Oh wait, I didn't pick up the uh, gold transmit stones. So that should be enough for four ML summons. What do you think? Let's go ahead and do that. If I could ever find it, here we go. Let's collect our three star units. Um, let's go ahead and uh, how do we do this? We join seven seven seven. And we say squirrels for good luck. And then we cancel seven times. This is guaranteed to give you better luck. There's a science behind it. I'm not making that up. There we go. We start off with a purple shiny. Guaranteed. Start off with, uh, let's see, what dupe do we get this time? Assassin Cartuja. Mine is triple S. We're going to cancel another seven times. So we can collect our Doris. All right, buddy. Give us something new. Watch your Shuri. Oh, that doesn't be Biblios for a second. Troublemaker Crozet. And as usual, my Galaxy bookmarks are completely useless. I have not gotten anything new from Galaxy bookmarks. That is good in a long time. If I do get something good, it's something useless. But, uh, alright. That is my summoning session for today. I am going to build Holiday Euphine. I know I pull on every single banner and I end up just benching it. I have a whole crap ton of benched five stars that are not molded, not six starred, not used at all. Holiday Euphine, because Pissar is so annoying, you can bet your ass I'm building her. So expect a debut video and a hero review video soon. Anyways, thanks for watching. Good luck on your summons. Hopefully it's not torturous like mine was. And uh, best of luck, guys. Till next time, peace out.